in a previous video, and I'll put a link to it up here. I covered making top bar swarm boxes. Now, those were made strictly out of leftover pallet wood that I had from making my top bar hives. And this round, I am going to make new top bar hives. Um, I ran out of pallet wood, so I will be doing commercial dimensional lumber. We're using eight foot one by 12s, and I purchased three of them to make two hives. So I'm gonna run you through the entire process, including coming up with the dimensions for the polygon at the end. Should be simple, stay tuned. To work out our angles for the end, we're going to need a pencil, a straight edge, and a square. In this case, I'm using a large framing square, and a tape measure. Now, all of my hives are the same length, and that would be the length of one pallet board. If I run my tape measure, it's three foot eight and one eighth inches. So I'm going to have to cut my sideboards and all of that to that length. The other thing is, I like to use the pallet boards on bottom. Now, pallet board is five and a quarter inches wide. Which makes this a one by six, roughly. So we're going to need to design the bottom at five and one quarter inches and we'll use this pallet board to set that. So when we calculate this out, you want your top dimension for your side to be three times your bottom board. Well, at least I, that's the numbers I'm working with. If we have 5.25, five and a quarter inches times three, we have 15 and three quarter inches across the top. We're going to start by coming from the end and measuring 15 and 3 quarter inches. Okay. We're going to need half of that distance, which is 7.875 inches. 7. And 8, 7, 5, we'll say 7 and 7 eighths. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this square up here on that dot. Line the top up along with the board. And we are going to draw a line right down the middle of the board. This gives us our center line for our top board. Now we know that this is 5 and a quarter inches. We know it's five and a quarter. So we're going to come at 2.62 inches, which is just slightly more than a half an inch. And I'm just going to eyeball this and put these two marks in. Then to double check this, I'm going to measure from here to here, two and a half and from here to here. So the whole thing needs to shift this way just a little bit. And what I'm doing is shifting it just a hair each time and then double checking my measurement. So that's two and five eighths, two and five eighths, okay. So that comes out to two and five eighths inches on either side of that line. And we're gonna take from here and draw a line up to the corner. There we go. And then we're gonna take this dot here and connect it to this dot here. And now we have our basic shape. Now again, I'm going to double check this, and we're always double checking our measurements before we cut. We're going to put this board at the bottom, and it is spot on for the width. 
So we now have one inboard laid out. When we make a hive, we're going to cut three of these inboards. We're going to cut three of these inboards because we're going to use one at either end of the hive and then the third one is used as a backer board to reduce the size of the hive that the bees have access to. All right, so for this cut, we are going to use a standard circular saw, sometimes referred to as a skill saw. Now, the way I like to set this up is so that it's just slightly thicker than the board. Um, this is scrap wood, so I don't care if I cut into it. And what I'm going to do Cut that first angle. Slide that board up a little bit. We're going to come back and cut the second angle. We now have our master end board cut. Since we will be marking these with using a single board to mark it, I'm going to mark this as master. Slide this board forward, turn this around. And we get our second board, but we only have to cut one side. And there's our second board. Now I'm building two hives right now, so this is going to be six of these boards cut out. So we're left over a piece of wood here. Is it big enough? No. It's actually shorter than the length needed for the side. However, That one is the width of the swarm boxes. So I could get a swarm box end out of this or side out of this. I could also throw this into the table saw and rip it down into crossbars for the top of the hive. So we will make use from the scrap. I went and grabbed two more eight foot one by 12s. These are gonna be used for the sides. And the reason is that the length that the hives end up being is I can get two sides out of one board with about four inches left over. If we're going to measure this with a tape measure, it's three foot eight and one quarter inches. So what we'll do is take the tape measure and run it up here. Three foot. Three foot eight inches. And... One quarter, put a tick on one side of the board. Now we're going to run it up the other side. Three foot, eight inches, and one quarter. So now we can take that down here a little bit. Take the square, connect those two dots, and draw us a line. 
that gives us our length. Now that we have our length set, all we need to do is run the saw along the line and cut this. So I have one side cut, and again, since we're going to use one side to do the measurement for the next one, we're going to mark this as a master board so we know that this is the same one we're using every time. In a nutshell, run it down, line up the cut ends. Make sure it's square. Draw a line. That's the next cut line. And we'll turn this board around to make it a little easier to cut. Leftover scrap. Not sure that this scrap can be used for much because you don't want to cut this way for a top bar because if you cut across the grain, the top bar will bow and warp. You always want to cut with the grain for a top bar. So right now that's scrap. And this is our first sideboard. Thank you for watching this uh, episode on how to build top bar hives. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Um, share it with your friends. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and catch more videos similar to this one. Thank you.